what you said, brother, about the good slave master, right? Then why would they why would they take out different parts of our laws? Why would they take out different parts of our book? If they was a good slave master. You looking at him right here. Oh, that's the real one? Read. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments. Like the Sabbath day. They had us off on Sunday, but they had us working on the Sabbath day. Right. Hold on, read. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. Above who? All nations. That's why there's no good slave masters, because they took that out the Bible. Yes, right. They didn't teach that to us when we was in slavery. I'm agreeing with you, but let me kind of... Go ahead. What I'm saying, I'm just trying to get close out. I hear you. blinding me my eyes. What I mean by a good slave master, as a fool, to some that were really big. Now, uh, for, the, for, for the sake of saying that all the stuff they did, that went with the punishment package from the most high. Right. You can't put a person in slavery and say, hey, you're going to whine and dine at the wall but of a story or whatever. Above all you're my slave. Now you got to do some things much less than me. So, what is your point? What are you saying? My point is... Because we're talking about rulership of the world. That's right. We're talking about rulership of the planet. Now, right. We're talking about having all nations in subjection to us, according right. to God's now, word, right? Now that, so, what is your point about saying that, oh, there was some good slave let me, masters. Let me say this. What's now, the point? Now that this, this spell has been broken, Exodus chapter 12, which will officially be broken on April the 1st this year, then you're going to see change. Okay, good for you. Good. That's, 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 okay. So, sister, what have you learned thus far, me, according to the Bible? Help me, sister. Um, to be what have you learned thus far? Because you, you, you've, you've been out here standing for quite some time. I'm listening. Uh, I'm about to go. I'm just listening. You're just listening? I'm take a have you learned anything? That's... Yeah, I have my, I have my beliefs, sir. So, what are your beliefs? I want to say, I want to go camera. You, it, it's too late, but I'm going to tell you uh, now. It's been, it's been about an hour and a half. Yeah, I'm bound to go. But what is some of your beliefs? Because what we're reading is our history is Bible prophecy fulfilled. That's right. It's the same thing. They line up. All praises. Do you remember in the scriptures why this happened to us? Our enslavement, our oppression, the the sin in your madness. We disobeyed, we disobeyed the Most High. We disobeyed the Most High's command. So what the readers have we learned that we must keep in order for us to get out of the curse. I guess the Ten Commandments, I'm trying to learn. That's why I'm here. But you're not going to destroy the hat. It's okay to wear a hat. It's not when the scriptures are coming out. When the scriptures are coming out, let's go back to it. First Corinthians 11. Because when the scriptures come out, sister, you're actually supposed to have your head covered. Let's get that. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I will have you know that the head of every man. So where you going? You about to buy something? Okay, because today's the Sabbath day. You can't buy anything on the Sabbath day. That's right. Why is that? Okay. Let's get that for it. Exodus chapter 20 and verse verse 8. Because you, you never heard that before? Okay. So we're going to read it according to the Bible. And that's that's the importance of us being out here because we want to be, we want our people to not be uh, in the midst of sin, for the most high to hear our prayers, for the, us to get out of this captivity. But we must know God's laws. Read. Exodus chapter 20. Verse 8, bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day. God said remember because he knew we were going to forget in slavery. Read. To keep it holy. To keep it separate from all other days. Read. Six days shalt thou labor. So there's people in that store laboring right now. We done seen a lot of boxes being brought in. There's people behind the cash register. There's people putting up the, the merchandise, right? They're laboring. The Bible says you got six days to do that. Read. Six days shalt thou labor uh -huh. and do all thy work. But the seventh day, the what? The seventh day. What day is the seventh day? Today. But today, read, is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. 
any. Thou shalt not do any work. Now, if nobody's supposed to be working today, what should this area look like? It should be deserted, but they are working. It should be deserted, right? But they are working, that's them. Okay, but you were about to buy from them, right? So let's deal with you. You know what I want. Read. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land, them, right? That's what you're saying, right? Them, read. Bring where? Well, any victuals on the Sabbath day. So what you about to buy? Some bottled water? So they have that to sell to you on the Sabbath day. Read. On the Sabbath day to sell uh -huh. that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. What God says? Right. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. That's right. So what you're not supposed to do today? This was Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Okay. So, what about this do you need to go home and... Because I have my own terminology and I have my own acceptance of how I... Alright, let me get that in First Peter. Because the scripture goes into our own understanding and our own way of... Because that's clear. Second Peter. 1 and 20. The Bible is very, very clear. But for us to go and have our own, because the, our own understanding had us worshiping the image of the beast. Our own understanding has our sister in pants. Our own understanding has brother's head covered and sister's head uncovered when the Bible's coming out. Right. Your own understanding almost had you buying on the Sabbath day. Right. Yeah. That's why we got to do this. Read. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 20. Bring it out. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture, nothing in this Bible, read, is of any private interpretation. So you can't go and say, you know what, I know it said not, they're not to buy on the Sabbath day, but I'm going to go home and research it and try to find a loop, because that's what people do. They go home and research to try to find a loophole. That was very clear what it said. Let's go back and read Nehemiah 10. Bring it up! Because, did you understand what that, do you understand what that said, my brother, right here? You. Right. Yes, oh, me, I thought you were talking about Do you understand what that said? Yeah, I clearly understand. What do you mean? What we're saying is about the, about the Sabbath day, you, you got to also remember, and I'm just not making excuse. No, no, what does that mean? This particular, what did you uh, say that? But this scripture said, read. Read it real quick. Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Bring it out! And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. To do what? To sell. If the people of the land bring anything to sell to the children of Israel, what did God say? That we would not buy. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's go slow to see if there's any room for confusion. That we would do what? That we would not what does not mean, Sister Tamika? You're not gonna, that means it's not happening. There's no way to define it without saying it. That means it, it isn't happening, right? Read. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, God says there's to be no buying or selling or working. That's right. You understand? So, what other research would you need to go home and do? Bring it out. T job. Hold on. What about you, brother? Did that was that? Did you understand that? Yes. What did that? What did that scripture just say? Absolutely no working at all on the rest on the mm -hmm. seventh day. What about the stores? No, no buying, selling, none of that. My brother got it right here. That's right. We're not, going, we're not going to put you on. You know, I didn't know about buying or selling anything on the Sabbath day. Uh-huh. So this is fine. It's new, right? All, right. All, praise. All praise to the Most High. And we understand it's a transition from learning something new and then activating it, right? Because you have certain things set up like, oh, damn, I got this, I got, I got a food in the crib. This, this. We understand that it's going to take some time, but you got it now. Uh, Psalms 56. Make haste. 119 59. Can I show you something and then I won't keep it? 
My brother, I'm, I'm, I want to deal with you after I'm done with dealing with these listeners because you keep trying to insert your own understanding. No, the answer is no. All right, not right now. Hold your peace. Read Psalms chapter one nineteen, verse fifty nine. I thought on my ways. So that's what you're doing right now. You're thinking on your ways. You're like, wait, when I was younger, I wasn't taught this. You're thinking on, the, on how you've been behaving for your whole life, right? Read. And turn my feet unto thy testimony. So now the actions that you take from this point forward are going to be according to the commandments of God. Read. I made haste. You did what? I made haste. What's it mean to make haste? Immediately turn away from your wicked ways. Immediately. That's right. On the spot. Read. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So as soon as humanly possible, you need to keep these commandments. Hey, brother, you had a question? You said this is a warning, the plagues, things that are happening. You absolutely right. Come, 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 come. Because the brother says something key. He said, what's going on in the world right now is a warning from the Most High God. That's right. Because today's the Sabbath day. If you notice, all the clubs are closed. All the stores are basically shut down. All the entertainment things that our people would be doing today. God said it is a wrap. Why? Because today's his Sabbath day. He needs to get your attention. And guess what? Christ said the same thing. Bring Give me Matthew out. chapter 24. Bring it, out. Bring it out. I believe it's verse 10 that I want. Start at verse 7. Because all we doing is reiterating what the prophets have been saying for a long time. Right. It is time to repent before the end. Right. We know we're in the last days. We see the symptoms of it, but we think we have more time than we do. Right. This is your warning. You right. do not have the time you think you have. That's right. Read. Matthew chapter 24, verse 7. Bring it out. For nation shall rise against nation. How many nations have been warring with each other in the past 10 years, five years, months? Read. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom. That's going on while y'all watching Love and Hip Hop. Right. While y'all on TikTok doing the latest dance. Right. While brothers out here selling drugs. Right. There is wars going on that you don't know about. That's right. Read. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earth. Slow down, slow down, slow down. It should be what? And there shall be famine in Venezuela. There's been famines for months. Right. They've been eating out the trash. Right. Eating animals. Right. Eating, maybe eating each other. It's been famines all over the world that the media is not showing you. Bring it out. Bible prophecy is being fulfilled that you not un that you are unaware of because you're not paying attention. You're not listening to the words of the Most High God. Read. And pestilence and what? Pestilence. Pestilence means diseases. Right. When has the world ever been shut down all at the same time for one disease? Jeez, uh. For one pestilence. God is showing you he's not playing. That's right. His word is coming to pass whether you like it or not. Right. Right. You may go home. You may flip on your television. You may ignore what's going on in the world. But guess what? Prophecy is coming to pass. That's right. You right. will be accountable for this information. Right. Read. And earthquakes in diverse places. There's earthquakes all the time. It's every day there's an earthquake in some new place. Kuwait. Indonesia, Taiwan, the Philippines, Puerto Rico, right. Haiti, Utah. in Utah, right. in, in, in LA, there's earthquakes all over the place, there's diseases all over the place, there's rumors of war all over the place, and y'all got the nerve to say this ain't a real book, right. y'all right. got the nerve to say this is a false doctrine, you the false doctrine, That's if right. you don't believe what God is saying, That's right. Right. read. And these are the beginning of sorrow. These are what? The beginning of sorrow. Because guess what? When the nuclear fire comes, that's when the sorrow going to really get a popping. That's right. Did you know nuclear weapons are in the Bible, sister? Did you? Did you know? Yes. Yeah. Did you know nuclear weapons are in the Bible? You didn't know that, did you? What about you, my brother, with the shades on? Did you know nuclear weapons are in the Bible? Let's read it for the people that think this is a joke, that think this is a game, Second Peter 3 and 10. They call them arrows, they call them glittering swords, right? But the Bible describes nuclear weaponry way back when there wasn't. Right. The gun wasn't invented yet. Bring it out. 
Read. Second Peter, start at verse 9. Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 9. Read it out. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, because there's been prophecies in this Bible that have taken thousands of years to come to pass. Our own slavery was in the Bible. But the Bible says, don't think just because it hasn't happened yet that it's not going to happen. Right. There's a, there was a brother that came up, I've been smoking cigarettes for years. I ain't died yet. What that's supposed to mean? You will. It can happen. Read. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward. The only reason that the, the missiles have not come, that the destruction has not totally wiped us out, is so that we can repent, right. so that you can stop buying on the Sabbath day. Because if the nukes came yesterday, you'd be in trouble. Right. You'd be in trouble. You'd be in trouble. But the only reason that the, that the Most High God has not destroyed this land yet is so we can have time to repent. That's all right. Great. Right. But as long suffering to us were, not willing that any should perish. Because the Lord doesn't want you to feel that eternal flame. Because guess what? When the nukes come, it ain't just death. It's eternal death. Right. It's a death you can't even fathom. You can't even imagine. That's what's coming to you. Read. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's why even though brothers hate us out here, we still come. Because we want them to repent. That's right. Right. We want them to change. Right. We want them to hear the word of God and be like, you know what? I need to get off this corner. I need to get off this block. Read. But the day of the Lord will come. As a thief in the night, the Christian church teaches that when the Lord comes, it's going to be hugs and sunshines and rainbows. No. He's coming quietly. He's coming like a thief. In, no, no. Let me rephrase that. He's not coming quietly. He's coming suddenly. That's right. If a thief breaks into your house, is he going to make an announcement? Is he going to send you a text message? No. No, right? How's he going to do it? When you least expect it, bah, your door kicked in. It is too late to try to do anything. It is happening in real time. Right. Right. Read. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, Read. in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Look around. These tall buildings, the sky, this is the heavens. It's going to pass away with a great noise. Again, this was written thousands of years ago. What back then could have made such a loud noise that they could have had some point of reference? This is a, a, a vision being shown of the future. He was being shown the nuclear missiles going off. He was able to hear the nuclear missiles going off. Read. And the, e and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What back then could cause a uh, stone to melt, could cause rock to melt, could cause metal to melt. What back then could do that? I don't know. That's because it doesn't exist. But today we know it's called thermonuclear fire. Yes, right. We are reading about intercontinental ballistic missiles in the Bible. Yes, right. Read. The earth also and the works that are there that are therein shall be burned up. Right, right. Everything you see is going to be burned up. Your internet, your car, your best friend, everything is going to be burned up with That's fire right. when right. Christ returns. Right. Read. See that, seeing them death, all these things shall be dissolved. So seeing that everything that we know and love is going to be dissolved, your favorite sports team, your favorite TV show, everything is going to be dissolved. Seeing that that's going to happen, read. What manner of persons ought ye to be? Should you be buying on the Sabbath day? I'm learning today not to. Right. Why? Because judgment is coming for those that are still in the midst of sin. Right. You should not be uh, breaking God's commandments because you are at risk to be in the midst of this fire right here. Right. You are in the midst of being in the midst of these bombs. 
this war that's about to happen. So what manner of person ought you to be? Should you be on the corner pitching drugs to your people knowing that this is coming? Should you be in a Christian church worshiping a white Jesus? Right. Should you? No. You should be learning this Bible. That's should right. you be off in many doctrines? What, what, what you learned on the internet? No. You should be in this Bible. Right. I'm going to tell you why. Go to Isaiah 34, 16. Bring it out. Bring it out. Because we got all this knowledge and all this information, but none of it is for your salvation. Right. None of it is for your good. It's like, okay, you learned this. And what about your soul? What about when Christ returns? You're going to be able to show him this piece of paper? No. Things are going to be required of you. Read. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Bring it out. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Seek out of this Bible and read. Come on. None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. None of the prophecies, past, present, or future, have failed. Nothing in this Bible has fallen to the ground as far as an idle word. Right. The Bible said we were going to go into slavery. It happened. Christ said wars, earthquakes, pestilences. Did it happen, Sister Tamika? Yes. Yes. That's why none of these shall fail. And what? None shall want her mate. So that's why I'm saying the information and the doctrine that you're trying to insert, they eat, they keep going left every time you bring something out. Oh, no, no, the white man ain't that bad. Hold on now. No. Oh, that was a good slave master. No, that's because you're not reading out of the book of the Lord. Right. Right. You're mating it with the information you're thinking about. Right. Read. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.